r slash ask reddit, what's something that gets an unnecessary amount of hate? Tom from Tom and Jerry he just wants to chill while that little piece of shit annoys him all the time. As a kid I always liked Tom just a hard working cat trying his best to do his duty. At least with Tom and Jerry there's an air of playfulness to it. Then you get Sylvester and Tweety Bird, where that smug yellow turd is a big gay hole about it. That one spoon in your kitchen you hate for no reason. I'm sorry but no, F that thing. The only reason I keep it around is to scare the rest of them into obedience. The trickster. Anything that becomes overrated will stir up a counter movement of hate. From Skyrim to Neil deGrasse Tyson, the top comment will be adoring said idol. But the most upvoted first reply will be saying it's trash. It's like people feel like they have to correct the 5 star rating by voting 1 star. Even though their real opinion is 3, 5 stars. This is why a band like Nickelback, whose music is generic and a bit dumb, but still generally okay, can be widely described as the worst band of all time. Or why people on Reddit never say, I played Fortnite, and it had some decent ideas but it wasn't really for me. 6 stroke 10. The middle ground gets attacked from both sides. Bandwagon hating on something in general is a huge problem. I try to make a point to have a full explanation of why I dislike something before I go hating on it. Also, I am open to debate said dislike. Ever see the hate content creators on YouTube? Just pick an upcoming release of a game, movie, album whatever. They will have a 10 minutes and 5 seconds video about how it sucks. The best is when they start spewing nonsense about the company only in it for the money when they are making videos to maximize ad revenue and obviously couldn't care less about what they are talking about. The problem is content is rated and monetized by how many eyeballs look. If you scream the new Star Wars is shit pile of garbage. At at. At. Q at more people will click your videos. People that agree and disagree. If your title is the new Star Wars is pretty good who is going to click on that? So now we have hundreds of videos calling Star Wars bad and the general consensus is it must be bad because all these videos tell me it is bad. With a colorful thumbnail with big text, and their face real big looking angry. The word moist. I'm just describing this nice cake I'm eating and you're acting like I'm reciting ancient curses from the satanic bible. I'm so confused how half the population just decided they hate that word. Are they just immediately picturing a moist vagina or what? And if so, what's wrong with that? Because they don't actually hate the word, they just read it online somewhere and wanted to follow the trend. Same thing with the anti-pineapple on pizza crowd, whom instead of simply having different preferences, suddenly collectively decided pineapple pizza lovers are literally satan because it became such a trend to hate it it's all fake. Everything reddit decides it doesn't like. Reddit is like getting together all the bullied kids of their generation to unite in bullying others. That explains a lot actually. Being born in this generation because our music sucks. I don't get that. We were born in the generation where we can go to YouTube, or Spotify, and listen to literally any music since the beginning of recording of music to stuff released literally 5 minutes ago. Being born in this generation is, for music, fantastic. I agree, we can listen to our music, as well as any music made before us. This really is the best time to be alive as a music fan. But you can't go see them live, we missed out on a duck ton of great lip bands and the hype around them. Robert Pattinson, sure, he got famous for the Twilight movies, and no, they're not very good, but all of the weird independent films he's made after that really scream that this poor guy just wants to be appreciated as an actor. One film will change anyone's mind about him, Lighthouse, a damn masterpiece, that guy can act. Robert Pattinson in the mermaid masturbation scene wait, what do you mean I was only supposed to act it out? Everyone. If you're a human being there is likely many reasons someone would want you dead and countless more why people would think you are a horrible person. Humanity in general needs to chill. The amount of people that get death threats over things is ridiculous. I agree. R slash news comes to mind for the insane amount of death threats in the comments that the mods don't do anything about. Hating on any version of escapism, be it movies, video games, music, books, etc. 
Makes zero ducking sense to me as all are purely optional. No one has to partake in any kind of escapism they don't like so what the duck is the point of hating on a genre of music or certain movies or whatever? It seems like people on that level just want to be mad at something for the sake of being mad. I remember being in college when a friend stated that my enjoyment of video games was a sin because it distracted me from God. I found out later that he was hopped up on a lot of drugs, and the stuff he had taken messed up his head something fierce. Years later when I met him he had no recollection of college. Honestly, copious drugs is a better excuse for holding such a piss poor opinion than I was expecting. The most celebrated Canadian alt rock band of the mid 90s, The Benaked Ladies. If you've got a problem with the most celebrated Canadian alt rock band of the mid 90s, The Benaked Ladies, you've got a problem with me. And I suggest you let that one marinate. ETA, my first award. And that's what I appreciate about you. Vegetables. I eat them regularly since I was a kid and it just blows my mind that there are people who take eating vegetables as punishment or they need to learn to like it or cook it because somehow they find it disgusting in raw state. I can't imagine not eating at least one kind of vegetable once a day. I think a lot of the disdain comes from parents who don't know how to cook. I hated a lot of things growing up but it was because my parents couldn't cook worth shit. It resulted in me learning how to cook and taking it seriously to right their wrongs. Now I enjoy vegetables. My kids have always eaten their vegetables, but every ducking September, they suddenly pump the brakes and go on strike. Every new school year. They meet some new kid in class who openly opposes vegetables and gets the other kids to agree. So now my kids feel like weirdos for eating peas. So they come home going. Bailey doesn't eat vegetables. Parker thinks carrots are gross. First of all, Bailey is a dog's name and second, Parker is an idiot. You're eating your damn stir fry. By November, they settle down. We've banned several shows movies and removed books that have characters bleaching about vegetables or school. Duck off with that noise. Broccoli is awesome and so is math. I hate that children are targeted for such a tired, unnecessary trope. People who have been in jail. I mean they already paid for their crime. Can we let them have a regular job and join society again without spitting on them for the rest of their life? We got a new operations manager in the largest of the facilities I cover at work, and he decided to do background checks on all employees. Fired a forklift driver who has been here 7 years because he was a convicted felon. Like come on, the guy has worked in this place for 7 years, been one of the hardest workers and what, he's pulling the long con or something? Ridiculous. Did he lie about the felony conviction on his application when he was hired? It would be an understandable thing to do. If someone had been there that long without issue I'd probably ignore it if it was me. But that would at least be arguable cause. Basically anything that everyone under the age of 15 is into. The irony is, the majority plurality of people that hate on it, the thing that they were into at that age was the thing the internet hated at that time in the same way. But Fortnite bad Minecraft good? I remember when Reddit, and the internet in general, didn't like Minecraft because it was full of cringy preteens in the exact same way that Fortnite is hated now. I guarantee you, in 5-7 years time, Fortnite will be seen in the same way as Minecraft is seen now. It happened with Minecraft. It happened with Call of Duty. It happened with RuneScape. It happened with Halo. Heck. The likes of World of Warcraft and Dungeons and Dragons always used to be stereotyped as that game that only loser nerds in their mom's basement play. Which was a dumb assumption to begin with. But now anyone and their dog can say they have an account campaign and no one bats an eye. You'd be raked over the coals for admitting that a decade or so ago. People loved Minecraft when it first launched. It wasn't until it had been out for a few years, 2-3 I think, that people started hating on it. But only when the kids started playing it. It's been 8 years since. Full Retail. V1. Zero was released and those same kids have grown older in that time. Any media that's particularly popular with teenage girls. Not just media but really anything that is popular with teenage and young adult women. Their media. Hobbies. And what they enjoy apparently just isn't seen as valid or worthy by a large segment of the population. Why do people care so much if someone enjoys pop music or chick flicks or wearing Uggs or drinks PSLs? Why is something inferior if it's popular with young women? 
On a related note also dismissing things girls women like as either just trying to be cool or just liking it because there's hot guys. Anakin in the Star Wars prequels. Everyone is focused on how hammy and bad his performance was. Meanwhile he speaks with the same cadence and delivery that Darth Vader had in all the original trilogy movies. He nailed it perfectly, but all it gets is hate. I don't think anyone could have made that dialogue work. Harrison Ford was right when he said George. You can type this shit, but you sure can't say it. A theory I've come across is that since Star Wars is from a long time ago in a galaxy far far away that it was translated and the prequels just botched the translation like a bad anime dub. Guy Fieri. He seems like a genuinely good person. In 2017 and 2018 he cooked for thousands of victims and first responders affected by the California wildfires. His Hot Ones interview is one of the best episodes, and totally changed my opinion on him. Also, he ate all 10 wings without a drink, so that's another level of respect to put on his name. Old people doing young people trends. They just want to be a part of the fun. I'm in my 40s, I play Pokemon Go with my 16 year old son. It's something fun we can do together. We started playing when it first launched, back in 2016. I openly admit that I'm shit at this game, he is not. As a meat eater, I'm going to have to go with vegans. I don't think I will ever be one. Personally, I also don't think they deserve as much hate as they get, especially when you consider that most all of it is a result of shit they don't do. The theory I've heard is that there's this weird cognitive dissonance in place, where on some level we agree that vegans actually have a point, but admitting they have a point would require us to either change our habits or admit that we're hypocrites, neither of which is desirable. So people take the third option, and bash the vegans back down to our level, creating an anti-vegan circular jerk to resolve the dissonance. It no longer matters if vegans have a point, because now you can counter that they're preachy, or they're rude, or they shove it down our throats, etc. The good vegans have to carefully walk on plant-based eggshell substitutes and assure us that their diet is a purely personal choice. Because if they don't we default to viewing their diet as a personal attack on our morals and actions. Plant-based eggshell substitute he seems stealing this. Pop music. Don't like Taylor Swift? Don't listen to her music. It has literally never, in the entire breadth of human history, been easier to find music that fits your taste. I think it's some people's insecurities and the fear they might like something that might be perceived a certain way and how that could potentially be reflected back on the listener. Ugh. Who gives a duck honestly? I'll add to that and say that some people identify themselves by just going against the grain on things. They've built an ego on not liking what's popular, but ironically disliking popular things for the sake of it being popular is just as shallow as the people who identity only as an avid watcher of The Office iPhone Android hatred. Who the f cares what phone other people have? I like my Apple. Why do people have to tell me their Android is superior and my phone is trash when they see that? These brand wars are just a way for companies to get you to identify with their product. Get entrenched and never consider their competitor. It also gets you to do free marketing for them whenever you argue with your friend about why your thing is better. Poor Karens. Our misunderstood spouses and friends who just need a little compassion. Karen is a state of mind. Skylar White. She did everything she could to protect her kids from her deranged and psychotic drug dealing husband. Marie was the real villain in the realm of wives. Women with short hair. My mom is being so insufferable about it. I'm getting it cut for my birthday and she's acting like I single handedly destroyed Indian culture because short HR is nth Indian and that I'm not appreciating the gift God gave me because she could never have long hair and I do and I want a cut. It short and that's D is G R as if all. It also has some shit to do with religion or whatever and though telling her countless times I don't believe in God she still insists I do and that's why I'm on the wrong path with short hair. I'd f I don't get it but hopefully as soon as I can get into college I can just keep it short for however the hell long I want. Edit. Wow silver. Thank ease. Cut your hair now. Build a house with all the bricks your mom shits. Shitty beer. Look, no one is making you drink Bud Light or Coors. You can also choose not to drink if the beer that is provided to you is that bad. I say this as a person who drinks way more than I should and chooses not to drink shitty beer. 
popular emo bands, Sleeping with Sirens, Black Veil Brides, Bring Me the Horizon, etc. Just because you've seen some cringy 13 year old girls liking them doesn't mean the entire fanbase and especially the band itself is bad. I get it if you don't like that style of music, but people get really pressed over others liking these bands for no reason. Consoles. I'd be embarrassed to be one of those people. If you need to act superior over something like that, it just tells people what a loser you are. Ha you pleb. My $40. 000 gaming PC can outperform your measly $200 console any day. Why do you even compete? Nickelback. The ukulele. It's a fun, versatile, cheap instrument that you can learn to play pretty quickly. It's really hard to be in a bad mood while you're playing one. Who's hating on the uke? Is a great instrument. Have people not heard of Jake Shinobukuro? The dude can shred a uke. Anything popular. Fortnite is the worst thing ever at the moment. A few years ago it was Minecraft. Just ignore it if you don't like it. A lot of media hate. I think comes from being overhyped and overpromised. And then what we watch doesn't live up to the expectation despite being pretty good. Because some movies are hyped up like they're going to be a genre defining landmark of cinema. It's the monument of a generation that'll be talked about for centuries. And what actually comes out is a real fun action adventure film you thoroughly enjoyed but not some historic event. And the world hates it because it didn't change their life or change the movie industry forever. What I mean is that it's okay if not everything is literally the best movie ever made. You can't use the absolute legends of popular culture as the measuring stick for other media. Most metal bands. Worst thing is, people who don't listen to metal couldn't give less ducks about these bands. It's the damn metalheads always criticizing bands for changing their sound too much or always sounding the same. Or for sounding too much like other bands. Or not sounding enough like their genre. Or switching genres. Or changing their aesthetic or not changing it. Or being posers. Or the feared going mainstream. It's like metal bands get a free pass on their first album and from there on it's the shit avalanche. Battlefront 2. I'll admit, it was broken in the beginning, but they fixed most of the problems. I don't like microtransactions as much as the next guy, in fact I hate them, but it's a pretty fun game now. Eggnog, that stuff smacks. Pineapple on pizza, it's actually weird cause so many people eat weird things together, but pineapple on pizza gets hate for some reason. Air in chips bags, people have been mocking it for so long. It prevents the chips from being crushed and from going stale. WTF are you complaining about? TBH. Anything that has primarily a following fandom of teenage girls. Probably late to this, but I felt I should add. Men who are into girly things. Like any male who likes something girly instantly gets criticized by the entirety of society. Including their own parents. Like WTF is up with this? Edit. Thank you kind stranger for my first gold. I wish upon you to be never unnecessarily criticized. Anime just because it's animated and has a bad stigma because of the lolis and crap. Spiders. They are useful for holding down populations of lots of pests. Generations. I'm a boomer. Obviously from my username. But guess what? We're all different from each other. And we change our views as the years roll by. Same with all the other gens. Any hate for one group of people is stupid. Whether it's a race, religion, generation, ethnic group, political party. Pineapple pizza. Billie Eilish. People who talk shit on her are literally talking shit on a kid. Do you have nothing better to do? I get you don't like her music. I don't necessarily favor her music either but that's no reason to attack her personally. The other three stove top burners. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.